Hello gamers, it is me, your leader, the final gamer, here to tell you that right now on iPatchWolves.com, that's my merch site, we have a 20% discount on everything, and that's only going to last a little bit longer, but I wanted to say it in a video so that the people who watch these videos have a chance to buy them. Okay, uh, goodbye, thank you for supporting me in whatever form you do, I love you, uh, let's start the, start the fucking video. Good Monday, gamers. Welcome to Gamer City. I am your mayor, the final gamer. I want to thank everyone for enjoying me or enjoying joining me on this impromptu Monday stream. Basically, I got to the end of the working day. Still plenty of work to do because, as per usual, it never ends. Thank you, Anonymous, for that subscription. Um, but I thought, hell, you know what? Why don't, why don't we play some weird survival horror games for no reason at all? Uh, and I thought that would be fun. How, how's, how's everyone doing? What happened to the smokehouse? I'm still, I'm, I'm still playing with the intro. We might go back to the smokehouse. Sis, Sisra, thank you for the subscription. Or Kisra, I can't tell. But, um, yeah, how's everyone, how, how's, how's, ever, how's everyone doing alright? Anyone, anyone they want to bring forward here? Captain Ackerman, did you watch Full Gear? If so, that Texas Death Match. Uh, that was a fun Texas Death Match. It's the only show. It's the only match from Full Gear I've watched. But yeah, I love Swerve. Keep building him. He's not quite ready for the title picture yet. IMO, but he is great, and that was a fucking great match and a tremendous showcase of him. John, have you played Alan Wake 2? I have played it, and I worry the more I play it the more I'm starting to realize that I don't know if that game's for me. It seems like a lot of it is wandering around picking things up, and I don't know how into that I am. And, like, it's a detective game, but fucking Saga just has psychic powers, so she just knows shit. It's not a detective game. It's like a... I don't know. It is cool though, like at the same time I say all that, I do think it's kind of rad. I don't know, I need to spend more time with it. I need to spend more time with it. Mm -mm. John, what do you know about the setting setting the graphic types for a virtual machine? Absolutely nothing. Um, have you seen Scott Pilgrim? It's so good. Yeah, uh, I watched the first episode of Scott Pilgrim yesterday. Fantastic. Fantastic. And I say that as like not the biggest Scott Pilgrim guy. Um, I, I really like his, I really like the sec, the thing he did after Scott Pilgrim. I think it's called Seconds, Brian Lee O'Malley. Uh, Scott Pilgrim was cool, but I also think Scott Pilgrim is, there's like an era of Reddit guy from like 2010. And I felt like every dude on Reddit thought they were Scott Pilgrim. And it unfairly made me harsh on the comic, even though I still like the comic. Um, but yeah, the, the animation for that is like fucking perfect. It's so beautiful. It looks so nice. I think the voice actors all like nail it. Michael Sarah is <laughs> in it, I think, which is so weird. Uh, but yeah, I had a great time with it. Can't wait to watch more. Um... Have you seen the new wave of people realizing Scott Pilgrim was dating a minor at the very start? Uh, um, yeah, yeah, I, I, I have, I haven't seen that, but I watched it in the anime and I was like, oh, people, people are, are not going to be upset about that for sure. Um, the entire movie came back, cast came back for it. That's so cool. The wacky thing about the comic is that Scott is not a great guy and people ignore it. Don't get that. See, that's, that is the kind of thing about Scott Pilgrim, like a slightly different interpretation of it than maybe Brian Lee O'Malley intended is like not great like Scott does kind of suck but yeah mm -mm -mm. thoughts on the Jujutsu Kaisen and Mappa situation um I actually have not looked into that my I have been busy with a bunch of other shit um I'm guessing it's that Mappa are kind of shitty which I think kind of known for for a while I did I talk about that in the Chainsaw Man video? I can't remember. 
I definitely at one point it was in the script, but I think... Um... No, I didn't. I think that might have been in the script. It might, be, it might have been in the video until very late, and then I was like, fuck, this has just turned into its own thing. But yeah, MAPPA have notoriously been f like a nightmare to their animators. Really, really bad. And, um... Um... MAPPA is shitty. The workers are threatening to quit. Good. Good for them. Um, MAPPA is so shitty that the workers are threatening to kill themselves. Wow, that is fucking bad. So, what I will say... I'm going to echo a sentiment of Brobex on Twitter when all this shit came out. But basically, like, large companies and studios in particular, especially in passion-based industries, they owe you sweet fuck all. Like, all your free overtime, everything you are willing to dedicate to them, it will never amount to anything. And I have seen that happen over and over and over. Remember when I started making YouTube videos? For the first year, when I was making videos in my spare time, and then, like, um, going into work. I was getting shit for, like, basically working, like, 9 to 6 and not doing any more than that. Because I wanted to come home and fucking make videos, you know? And, it like, the culture in that place was such that it wasn't even my bosses who were angry at me. It was my co-workers. And I was like, this is fucking crazy. Like, what is, what are we doing here, you know? Um, and I eventually just quit to do this, and that was much better. Um, you're insane, Shills, if you think. Yeah, I know, I know. It, it's, it's fucked up, though. Um, it's a weird... Animation's a weird industry, you know? And I think part of the problem is because the people who get into it only get into it because I, they love it. And that makes them very easy to manipulate and very easy to kind of get into company culture. I do not miss the industry at all. I miss the people I worked with, for sure. But, um, it's tough. Boss man, why is the camera focused in the background and not you, is it? Oh. Focus, damn you. Focus on me. Focus. Focus. Is it because it's so bright? Is it because... Does it think that the area behind me is like a massive skin wall? Do I need to turn this up a little bit? I think that's too much light on me, though. Garfield must always be in focus. Still Garf. Hey guys, sorry, just had to take a little break there. Um, nothing to, nothing to worry about. Um, so yeah, today we're gonna play. Um, we're gonna play. Uh, we're gonna play some survival horror games. Um, and the first one I wanted to play was Crow Country. Um, I've talked about this before on stream. It is. Right now, it's only in demo form. It is legit, like, the fucking cool... One of the coolest games I've played in the longest times. And I can't wait for the full thing to come out. Um, if you guys aren't familiar with this game, you are in for a fucking treat in how cool this thing looks. Have you seen the new Bleach anime? Bits and pieces. Pretty cool so far. Uh, well, I've watched like the first season. If anyone asks, my name is Mara. Mara Forest. Fucking great survival horror protagonist name. 
Special, special agent forest. That's me. Don't forget it. Don't mess it up. She's tough. see here so this is what this game looks like and when i first saw this game i thought that this was all like a pre-rendered background like final fantasy or like the old playstation games and i was pretty shocked when i saw it is not this is just all 3d through some insane wizardry and i am so in love with the general aesthetic of this i think it it's just incredible Some, hand, some handgun bullets. So in the demo, you have an infinite supply of handgun bullets in your um, in in your car. I don't know if that's going to be the case for the full game. What's the story so far? There is a spooky theme park. You go there. That's about it. It's locked. There's a silver keyhole. El Crow. Let's have, a little, let's have a little look around here. See what we got anything else. That's that. And then K. And that's how we shoot. That feels so bad on keyboard. But sure look. No fixed camera and hell tank and hell tank controls zero out of ten. Oh no, it's cool. It's I swear to God, this is such a cool game. Ticket booth. I have no intention of buying a ticket. Actually, I want to go back and explore there a little bit. Diagram of video game controller. Shoot, examine, rotate camera, flashlight, raise weapon, quick turn. Cool, cool, cool. All good, all good. Um, so this game has a fucking awesome atmosphere. Like, just, 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 let's just, let's just bathe in this for a moment, chat. Sisra, this feels weirdly cozy. Absolutely, doesn't it? It's a pocket light. Looks like somebody dropped it. JDU's cool. And like, I love just the lighting. I think looks really beautiful. And like, it's, it's just, it's such a simple little effect, but it, I just, I don't know, dudes. I just, I, I love the atmosphere for this game. So I cannot wait for this game to come out. Vending machines and trash cans may provide you with supplies if you're running low. You can also get handgun ammo from the trunk of your car. Uh oh. Something's blocking it. Hmm. It's 
a magazine. Beyond magazine. Strange sightings at the abandoned theme park. Aspiring paranormal photographer Arthur Mole sent in a Polaroid he took while exploring the abandoned amusement park Crow Country. Could this thing possibly be real or is it just another hoax? Here at Beyond Magazine, we're not convinced. Try a little harder next time, Arthur. Ooh. I'm getting hot. I'm getting hot. There's something in there, but I can't get at it. It's blocked by a pile of old bones. I don't think I have any items that can deal with that. So there's a bunch of doors and stuff in this that, as far as I know, like, there's no way to actually get in them yet. Listen to that music, it's so good! Some kind of dead animal. I can't make out any features. And look at this big fucking guy! The laser sight for the handgun. Take it. Big Crow. Hello, Mr. Crow. I'm looking for your boss. Do you know where he is? It's a large med kit. Take it. From what I remember about this demo, it's not too hard or anything. It's going to be a little harder because I'm on these really janky keyboard controls. But, um, box of shotgun shells. I don't even know I found the shotgun. But, um, it's like... It feels right now that, like, if you like the idea of survival horror, but you hate the stress of it, I think this is probably, like, a decent game for you to play. Fairy Tale Town. Pretty much all these barrels are just shit you can shoot. Zero six. You know what? I'm gonna take a little picture of that because we might need it. Oh shit! Mega sixty four just released the Saiyan Saga in five minutes. Um, I am absolutely gonna watch that in a little bit. Um, one of my favorite experiences so far has was being on Mega sixty four. It was incredibly surreal, but they were so like chill and nice. Missed the med kit on the ground from the second barrel you shot. Cool, I'll go grab it. Uh, this is back into ah, I'll, I'll leave it. Oh, there it is. There is also bear traps in this game. Look at that, isn't that so fucking cool? Like, I just, I love the environmental design so much. It's broken. Look at photo. Yikes! dude. Sir, what happened here? What? Who? 
My name is Mara Forrest. I'm here to help. They attacked me. All I wanted was proof. What's your name? Arthur Mole. I just needed a better, a clearer photo. A photo of what? Who attacked you, Arthur? Those things, I don't know. Those people, they saw me and... All right, stay calm. You're bleeding quite badly. I should help him. What'd you say your name was? Mara. Come on, I think we should take uh, take a look at your leg. Uh, yeah, let's give him a let's give him a med kit. Thanks. It's a cute and scary aesthetic. It absolutely is. Wait, you can kill him? No, I don't think so, guys. As fun as that would be. I still feel kind of bad. Well, I did just shoot you like four times, buddy, so probably. Come on, let's move you somewhere safe. You don't look too heavy. I moved Arthur to my car. You guys think that means Mara's like, like, I don't know, like kind of, kind of strong or something? I don't know. Like... Okay. The code. I think we have the code for this, but we can't actually do anything to for, with her yet. Um, two one zero six. Oh no, we don't. No, I'm thinking of a different part. Is this Roblox? Years like fevers. You watch your goddamn mouth. Tree lady 3184. Okay, cool. Uh, I know we need something else before we can actually do anything with the tree lady, so I'm not going to bother for the moment. Cigarette machine. I'm not allowed to smoke. Me neither. Is this Fear and Hunger 3? Man, oh, that would look pretty fucking cool. Okay, here are the bad people. So it is just a demo. I would like maybe like a little bit more of an introduction, like a little cutscene or something. Uh oh. Ah. And because I feel like the game has this cool, really cool atmosphere. And then it's kind of just punctured by these dudes. But you don't really get a chance to, like, there's no giant shock or anything, you know? And I think, like, oh, even a weird little FMV or something there would be so sick. But I don't know. Maybe it's not possible. This fucking room. Oh, my God. It's so good. I like the sound design. Yeah, it's good. The smokehouse is open on Mondays. You know what? Maybe I need to bring back the smokehouse. Maybe maybe these streams have gotten too far and that's just what I say now. Um, I'm writing to you in relation to the incident which occurred within your theme park in July of 1988. As you know, a 15-year-old girl by the name of Elaine Marshall was injured. The incident occurred within your premises and within working hours. As such, the Marshall family is holding you personally responsible. Your presence is required in court. We expect to hear from you immediately. Sincerely, G. Williams, State Corps. collection of video game tips. 
and humanoid enemies will take more damage if you get a headshot. A headshot also has a chance of decapitating en some enemies. Remember to get into the fairy pond area. Say out loud, hear me, O oh great fairy of far fairy fairest forest. It's pretty sensitive. It won't work if you have an accent. Sorry, Diego. Oh, I love this room so much. Oh, the irony. I don't have a bullet, so I can't shoot the glass bottle and get more bullets. See, chat, this is all I want. This is all I want from life, to just sit and stare at my fire. Not all the complication and the constant agonizing over whether what I'm doing is correct or not, but just, you know, if I could just stay in this little room forever. Anyway, it's comfortable, but I don't like sitting on it. I would love to sit on it. Let's see if we can get a bullet out of this thing. Yes! Baby, we're back in Bullet City! Mm. Is she a doll? No, she's a regular human woman. softly starting into the flames I feel something it's a curious mixture of hope and dread maybe everything will be okay and maybe it won't oh, I, I feel I feel like I live in that curious mixture I feel like that's my entire goddamn life you know, they're, they're really like generous with like the health packs and stuff but for a demo I don't actually mind that like it's kind of I don't really want to die too much on a survival horror demo Maybe we don't have to have either Smokehouse or Gamer City. Maybe the Smokehouse just is Gamer City. Interesting thought, Jules, Jules, Jules. Good evening from Dublin, John. This ought to be a good way to brighten up the otherwise not fun day. I'm sorry your day was not fun. Uh, Erste Calivar, if I have that right. Where are you? Hell yeah! It's full of rocks. Each one is better with pieces of shiny metal. Is this a crate full of gold ore? Ooh. Um, guys, I saw that movie Salt Burn over the weekends. I don't know if anyone's checked that out, but you should go watch Saltburn. Uh, it's fucking great. It's got that lad in it. You know the lad who's gonna play the Joker? The really creepy Irish guy? Um, it smells so bad. It's like an infected wound. I feel bad killing it, but I feel bad leaving it alive too. And it's basically about this lad just devout. Oh god, oh god, uh, uh, mmm. Oh, they're so gross! Kill, kill, kill! Ah! I was not feeling so good. So the way this is, like, Done is I have to hit the, 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 hit the arrow key. Shit. Have to kill it. Ah, god damn it. Okay, I'm out of here. I have to hit the arrow key with my um pinky thumb pinky finger and the shoot key with my index finger. Barry Kion, yeah, that's his name. 
But um, yeah, it's just, it's such a good movie. It's a little bit like The Talented Mr. Ripley, if anyone's seen that. Uh, kind of uh, like bordering on horror in places, but just so good. Oh God. Oh, oh, oh. oh, listen to that hum. Nice. They are so liberal with the ammo. But the enemies are also like bullet sponges as well. Hey Ed, want some good news? I finally found a good site for our gold mine. It's in Para, northern Brazil. Just like we wanted, there's a disused mine there. The locals gave up on it years ago. It's still in decent shape, so it shouldn't be too much work to get it looking the part, Marv. Swan. I told them not to take it, and they took it anyway. You can't reason with swan boat people. It's true. Um. Uh, one of the classic blunders: building a theme park on an old, abandoned, and certainly haunted mine. I, I mean, you know, look, look. It. They're only human. We all make mistakes, right? That is so cool. Nice. Oh, it's still alive. It absolutely does. It doesn't turn. It's a strange mechanical swan head. Do we need to put something in its mouth? Oh, it's broken. I wouldn't know how to repair it. Fancy your weekend plans with the in-laws and grab your sunglasses. A brand new theme park is opening just a few miles southeast of Atlanta. Explore Fairy Tale Town, Haunted Hilltop, and Ocean Kingdom at Crow Country, which promises a day full of fun and adventure for the whole family. This park is owned by Mr. Edward Crow, a lifelong Atlanta local and landowner. Yes, that's right, it appears he named the park after himself. Not much is known about Mr. Crow other than the vague un unsubstantiated reports that he is exceptionally wealthy. Nonetheless, we look forward to seeing what Crow Country has to offer when it opens its gates this summer. Memo. If Swan breaks down, just take the egg out of its... If it, just take the egg out of its wheel system. Doing so disables the radio signal and locks the wheel until um, you can get the mechanic to fix it. So we would technically need an egg in this thing. Which I don't know you even come across in the demo. I don't think we can go in here. Is that a real door? It's locked, but there's no keyhole. What about the little post box? 
Bronze Keyhole. Leave. Whoops. I hope everyone's like suitably impressed that I'm hitting those shots, because this is requiring some some dexterity. So like, it's hard to say how good this- oh yeah, this is so cool, look at this. I actually want to turn off my flashlight. You have 10 credits remaining, would you like to hear your fortune? Yes. So I'm guessing this is like the game's hint system for if, the, if you get stuck. Talk to the tree fairy to enter fairy pond. Yeah, that's what it must be. Welcome, child. You will protect your precious natural. Will you protect your precious natural world? I will. Follow me. Pool of water, examine. It's filthy. So, if I remember right, we gotta get the pump mechanism working right. So, the guy who fixed the water fil uh, filter did by running it through the air ventilation system. If you run the filter pump behind the gutter with the incorrect pressure, too high or too low, it will trigger the ventilator. Be careful, you can tighten up the pressure using the valve hand. So, I think it's a pretty simple puzzle. Basically, we just need to get that valve hand on the right. But I think we also have to time it so that we can actually press the button. It's control box. I think we should be okay now. Nothing happened. Uh, this room's cool because it really looks like the back rooms. Hey, do you know, pay attention, do you pay attention. I said your favorite word. The What's back that? rooms. Okay, the back rooms. It's a spinning picture of my face. Um, who took the Ocean Kingdom restaurant trident? That thing is expensive, and without it, we can't do the Happy Birthday Sea Monster song. Someone said they saw it in the Witchwood. I'd go check, but that place gives me the creeps, honestly. Uh, yeah, I, I fucking love this little room. I think it looks so cool. Like, this gives me that real liminal feeling. You know what I mean? Can't believe this is from the Snippers Clip team. It's wild, isn't it? Uh, 
this. Let's heal a little bit. Oh, let's check this bin. I know, there's a weird thing with survival horrors, and it's not just this game, it's like, there's a coziness to survival horror games, and I've never been able to, like, really articulate it well, but there's something about playing a survival horror that is very just chill in the right moments, you know? And I think part of it's nostalgia, because, like, survival horrors had their heyday, like, you know, like, fucking 15 years ago or whatever. But it's just cool, and I really think this game, like, captures that. Like, it really plays into that coziness well. Oh, I remember. Yeah, so we basically just have to pull this over. Then we go over here, pull this, and we're all good. Then, like, that's such a cool little puzzle, because then it reveals a little target. Shoot this guy. The, the water was too cloudy before to see that. And then she comes up. Bronze key. Is this your second playthrough? Yes, it is. I think it's in the gameplay. Survival horror tends to have minimal hood weapons, no skill trees, no such baggage, just simplicity. Yeah, I would say there's something to that, alright. Can't wait to go with him. What secrets does he hold? But now, I think we're kind of at the end of the demo now, and there's a bunch of different... I think there's some doors along here that if we enter them, the demo just ends. But I want to show you guys something I found when I was backtracking. That noise was not here before. That's because... It's this fucking thing! Um... I didn't try and kill it before. I am going to try and kill it now. Okay, here we go. Oh, it, 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 it's, it's, it's body is skinny. Oh god. Oh god. Oh Jesus. Oh sweet Jesus. Uh It's actually kind of hard to hit. Please go down. Please go down. Oh god. Uh okay, new plan. I have one bullet left. Where is he? Oh my god! Oh! Oh, that was sick! That was so cool! Oh. That was... The way he, like, came apart... Beautiful. So, I think I went in there before... And it ended the game. So I want to see if there's anywhere else I can go. Um, I want a keyhole. It's unlocked. <gasps> oh, new area. Oh, fuck. Okay, I haven't seen this. Earl of Edgecombe, a fine steam engine, beautifully combining the Arabella and Bernadette design styles. That is so cute. The Duke of Fran, a handsome steam engine, stylishly combined the Arabella.
Edward Crow, the trailblazer. Coleman Records, May 23rd, 1988. The intruder is contained in the lab. Boss is calling him the guest. I told him that that was in poor taste, but it stuck. Offered guest food and water. He took no notice of either. I can't begin to describe what's wrong with him. Boss doesn't want to call him an ambulance. He doesn't want to call anyone. I suggest we shut down all root excavation just until we work out what's happened. Boss says we can't shut down just yet, so the machines are back on. I have a bad feeling. I think we're about to make things worse. Hmm. There's no reason you have to defeat enemies, but if you leave them, you may have a harder time traveling around later on. Is this for PS1? This is this this is a demo for a game not released, my friends. Um Genuinely really impressed by this er early bit of game already. I know this is the point of the demo, but this is me very interested in the full thing. Yeah, it's guys, it's solid. Like it, it's really, really, I, I don't know. I just think the game has a charm to it. And like, I'm playing on keyboard, which is kind of a mess, but um, it's like, it, it feels actually kind of nice on controller. Collection of staff memos. If you're looking for the machine chain, yeah, yeah, yeah. And like I can see its limitation in some ways like there's stuff there's like items that repeat a lot and like stuff like that but you can kind of the amount of, oh that's so cool look at the crows they're fine they're fine chat fucking calm down they're fine Ori taught me to shoot every fucking bird absolutely so is this dude still in our car? What are you doing? I'm okay. You can be honest, your leg hurts pretty bad, right? Yeah, it's throbbing, it feels weird. You have a headache and feel kind of queasy. How did you know? The thing hurt you, it hurt me too. Not the exact same one, but still. Do I need to go to the hospital? Mara? Just sit tight, alright? You'll be safe in the car. That bit's a little bit fucked up because it's basically like Mara being like, I'm not leaving here to take your sorry ass to the hospital. And that's class. Maxinator, writing my thesis now and have my draft done. Fair play. I have, I am currently well into, I'm like three quarters of the way through my second draft in the next video. And I'm, I'm getting like really excited about it. Um, I found some like really fucking cool, weird shit to talk about. And... Some of, some of it's like shit I've never seen anyone mention online, and I am very excited to draw some attention to it, and that's going to be cool. Okay, let's keep going here. Can we get into the gift store? Get into the train place. We've already been to the bathroom. It's full of trash. A grenade! Oh, sick. Um, yeah, I talked about Full Gear a little earlier. The only match I've I watched was Swerve versus Hangman, and that was a great match. Very, very good. Um, it's kind of. It's a bit disappointing to see, I guess, like, the internet community start to turn on MJF like they have. Uh, I think the, the internet wrestling community really sucks, and I think they're, they're really shitty. And I don't, I don't dislike him, and I don't dislike his opinions or anything. Well, I, I, can't, I disagree with his opinions. I'm not a huge Jim Cornette guy. Um, I think he's entertaining, like, he is entertaining. I think he is to blame for so much of this fucking weird, just assholes. But that's, that's a rant for another day. Oh, sick! Okay, another new area. Oh, this is awesome. There's a hole in the ground. I can hear something down there. Well, that sounds positive. Oh, fuck. Is 
a wheel. <gasps> the mechanism is incomplete. Large enemies have more health than smaller enemies. Consider when making decisions about which ones to fight and which weapons to use. Pipe valve. It's missing the handle. I don't think we have anything like that. That moaning is creepy as shit, it sure is. It's a mounted weapon. There's a valve on top, turn it. Weird. I think it's low on fuel. tank. It sounds like gasoline, but it's almost empty. Add gasoline. Right. Uh, so here is a glass bottle with a grenade in it. And you might be thinking, how do I get that out? And well, sir, you quite simply just, uh, boom. There we go. That wasn't dangerous at all. We hired a company to start excavating. It didn't go to plan. Problem one, they spent too long setting up the site. Problem two, there was already a paper trail forming. The whole point was to do this quickly and quietly. And then, the deal breaker, they started asking questions about the roots. They watched. They wanted to know the full size and shape of things, so they were excavating. They wanted to know what it was made of. They wanted to know how long it had been there. No deal, obviously, they had to go. Uh, grenades are notoriously stable uh, items. Um, yeah, nothing can really go wrong with a grenade. Let's go talk to the fortune teller and see if there's anything else we can do. I think we're co we've come to the end, though. You have nine credits remaining. Would you like to hear your fortune? The crank candle is locked in a safe. That is not helpful. Thank you for playing Crow Country. Um, guys, this game rules. It seems really fucking cool. And I think, uh, you know, one of the things I do like to do when I can is like to shine a spotlight on smaller things. Uh, I'm going to talk about the demo for Crow Country probably in the next Favorite Things video. But if you're watching right now, uh, you can wishlist it on Steam. Demo's free. Just give it a shot. Like, it's, it's fucking great. It's also on PlayStation, and that's where I played it in initially. And I really, really like it. Um... So yeah, it's from an indie developer. It is clearly a, it's it's cr clearly a labor of love, you know, that kind of way. I don't play a lot of survival horror, but this looks fun. Yeah, I get the feeling that Crow Country could like fit real nice into that cozy survival horror. Okay. And with that, we shall continue on to our second survival horror game I wanted to play. So I have not played this, so I don't know what to expect. So this is a game called Holston. And it seems to have, um, it seems to have two different demos available. Press F to interact. I can barely see a gosh darn thing. Is that clear for you guys? Can you guys see anything? I'm guessing there's a light switch we turn on. Not there. There we go. Okay, so... This isn't one of those games where it's like... You could look at that and very easily believe it's just a really cool pre-rendered background. It's not. It's all 3D and I think that's so fucking cool. Like just, like talk about going all in on an art style and just not giving a fuck. The light system looks amazing. Yeah, I think it looks really, really good. 
plastic box mounted on the wall, a faint electrical hum can be heard coming from it. This door is stuck and we won't open it without a narrow tool. There's a large rusty padlock keeping the door shut. A broken key has jammed into it, there's no way to take it out. Oh, sick. An entry phone mounted on the wall. I can't leave without those blueprints. A plastic box mount on the wall. Okay. So we need a key for this keypad, for this lock. No time to waste, correct blueprints. Go to the slaughterhouse, find Bartek, let's get out of this place. Home by Christmas. Oh, it's a Christmas game! We came to the town, Jezerone Colonia. I am, I am so sorry for butchering that, because I know I have. To find your friend Bartek and bring him home. The search has led you to this place, the Jawanski House. Some clues point points that you can find the underground tunnel maps here. If that's true, you'll be able to reach your next stop, the brewery, the last known locations of where Bartek is. One of the few sane people in the town is waiting by the entry phone, assisting you from a distance. Her name is Anita, and you're stuck together in this mess of a situation. Whether you like it or not, she certainly doesn't. Remember that whenever you get stuck, you can check the map, look at your inventory, and go through any notes you've found. Inspect your surroundings, look for clues, and, you, and use any advice. The Trinity knows you're going to need it. This place is not there to help you. Neither will it accept your help. It's too late for that. Just kidding. The padlock is 2137. 2137. Please mind that while the events happening in this demo are considered canon, this particular gameplay bit will not be included in the actual game, and that's still um, and it's still missing a lot of cool stuff that we're working on. With love, Sanka. I appreciate them saying that. Like, that's cool. 21... Twenty-one thirty-seven. Yeah, that was cool. Oh, okay. Man, oh, this looks fucking cool. Good, uh, good old year for nice looking survival horror games. I'll come back there. Mm. Talk to me to the other side. A joyful female humming can be heard coming from this room. Uh, it's probably just a happy, it's just a happy lady. That's fine. Women are allowed to be happy. In fact, they, they, I encourage it. The sink is inoperable. It's entirely clogged with ooze. It's a small lamp. What will you do? Flick the switch. Switch doesn't seem to work. Perhaps there's no power. Okay, let us take out the light bulb. <laughs> Are you breathing? Hello. Hello, is Ktoś someone there? Hey. Proszę, wysłuchaj mnie. Hey, um, listen, I need you to help me. Are you... Are you Mr. Mr. Bartek? Uncle Bartek? The one with the notebook asking things? Yeah, that's... that's me. Uncle... Mr. Bartek. It's me, Maciek. Why is it so dark everywhere, Maciek? I don't know, for, for real. The white dress lady messed with the electricity box. Oh. This is getting, it's a little spooky. John is giving the women permission to be happy. No, I am not just to watch. Stop trying to get me fucking cancelled. 
Um, there are too many fridge magnets with the city name. There are many. Too I thought it said for some reason my dyslexia kicked in and I said there are there are too many fridge magnets. There are too many fridge magnets on this fridge, and it's upsetting. Um, that's not what it says. It says there are many fridge magnets. Which doesn't seem to work. Perhaps there's no power. Long scratches on the floor, likely caused by moving pieces of furniture. Dishes with stale leftovers. The, the oil cloth is covered with greasy drops. Oh, now John is saying we're having too many fridge. My God, damn it! A dirty armchair. There are cigarette holes in the upholstery. How upsetting. light bulb is necessary for it to work, but why would we need a second light over here? Light bulb fits the thread lamp. Switch. Oh, okay. So the this like weird horror moss is doesn't like light. And so we turn that on, we can now go upstairs. Cool. Light switch doesn't need to work. Perhaps there's no power. Oh, okay. Jak sytuacja? Nic mi nie jest. Jest. Janowcy. Rodzina, która tu mieszka. Spotkałeś kogoś z nich? Jak wyglądają? Zauważyłeś coś niezwykłego? Anything unusual? Nic to kurwa nie jest zwykłe. Nothing's fucking usual. What do you want me to say? Posłuchaj. Jeśli zależy ci na tej górnej mapie, która doprowadzi się do tego twojego parka, rozejrzyj się. Spróbuj wszystko oświetlić najlepiej jak się da. The plasm, the ooze doesn't like the light. Talk to the damn kid. Maybe he'll cough some more. I talked to him already about someone who's messed with huge bucks. Congratulations, the toddler figured out that before you. I like her. She's fun. An electric, electric night leads electricity. Got that? Electricity lives in the humming box next to the door. Stay safe. I'll be around in case you need someone with a brain. She's mean. Uh, what? Do, where did this game come come from? Was it Poland? Did someone say? Bawiłeś się żarówkami. Did you play with the light bulbs and fuses? Nie, no, I didn't for real. Prawdę. Tell the truth. I need to know where they are. Okay. I got scared when the white dress lady came. Then I figured that she'd be afraid of the dark. Everyone is. I went to the fuse box and started unscrewing the fuses. Then I heard that noise. What noise? I can't tell you. It was super scary. I freaked out. Very Polish, yes. All I remember was that I ran to the living. Fuck! What did you say? That's when I hid first, but it got really uncomfortable after a while. Under the couch in the living room. So not here. Is this the living room? The dirty armchair. Okay, we just opened up something upstairs. Let's see if we got anything here. Oh, it's hard to see. Oh, but there, and we know that's not working, but we can still explore around. You found a dull knife. Yes, I'll keep it. I won't take the. Uh, I won't take things from Gramps and Grandma's room, especially when they lock the door. I won't take things from Gramps and Grandpa's rooms. Or blah blah blah. plastic plate of the light switch is crushed. It's completely inoperable now. Awesome. The small lamp with shade. It's missing a light bulb. What will you do? Oh, shit. Okay, because I can't get up here without the light bulb from the other from the other lamp, so that's oh, tricky. I'm scratching the floor like it was when moving furniture. Oh, so I get it. So this is a puzzle that we're not ready for yet, but basically... Oh, the, fo the mean woman is calling on the phone again. But basically, you turn this light on, move it over here, and then it shoots light into this room, meaning you can get whatever's down there. That's... 
Ooh, a fun puzzle. This is your first time mommy let you on your own. If you're so knowledgeable, why don't you come inside and do it yourself? Sure, you need my 40 kilograms of living weight to push some furniture. Okay, there was... Fucking God damn it. There was some, um... There was another spot around here that had, like... Cool. Okay, so why don't we go grab the light bulb from here... Bring that little bad boy on over here. Wait, is this where we got the light bulb? Huh? No. I was feeling pretty smart for a second there, chat. This, by the way, is exactly how living in Poland works. Oh, is this not like a horror game in Poland? Like, is this just how shit is? I get that. That's the same as, that's like when we were playing Fear and Hunger and everyone was scared of the priest. And I was like, that is a normal priest. It's it's the same thing. Maybe one that is casting a shadow on the stairs. go back up here but there didn't seem to be a whole lot we can really do magic wait how's the kid here as well ah, try hide under the couch in the living room and ambush the white dress lady that's when I hid first, but it got really comfortable. But right now, I don't think we can make it. Not sure I trust the small child. He does seem to be everywhere at once. Which, now I don't, I, I'm, I'm not, um, I don't have any children, so I don't know for sure. But I'm pretty definite they can't do that. I dated a girl from Poland and her parents' house was exactly like this. Interesting. Scratch some floor indicating, but I know what that is. Um, every child in Poland can buy locate. Okay, I'm sorry, I didn't know that. Uh, I didn't know it was a specifically Polish thing. Um, I did not mean to come across as insensitive. Uh, I, I like I I learn things on these streams every day, you know. So this has to be where he's talking about but there's no way to get over there unless we can move this hmm this puzzle game has me somewhat puzzled okay clearly we are missing something that should be obvious but god damn it what um, can you take the light bulb out of the lamp and try it elsewhere? I think the tiny room in the downstairs. So this is where we got it, and this this lamp just doesn't work. Then there's also um, this room, and this room does have a lamp, but we can't seem to get to it right now. Or can we? No, I don't believe we can. Long scratches on the floor. So we can push furniture in here, but the problem is that it's... Um, I think the piece of furniture we push is restrained by the tentacle moss. 
so that's no good. <laughs> so nasty. Damn, where do we go? So now we're back in our original room. And it is not there. She said she has all she said she's all she has to say for now. Last box made her off faint. The electric was coming from it. This door is stuck and won't open with a narrow tool. Oh, I can use the knife! Oh nice! Okay, we have the fuse box open. So now I think we can use the fuse on different parts of the house. Oh, oh okay, cool, cool. A musty odor is coming from the washing machine. There are damp clothes inside. You found a watering can. Will you keep it? Will I? I think that's all there is in here. Oh, yeah. It's all marked on the color map up here. Cool. Okay. But it also looks like there's a second room that we can get in from the bottom when this one's over here. Okay. But first off, let me just grab the light bulb. That's a cool little puzzle. Um, so let's see if we can see the second one. So that's not gonna work. There we go, okay. Let's have a little explore around. There are too many magnets! Still. The sink is inoperable. It's entirely clogged with ooze. Pot is filled with chopped vegetables and eggs coated in mayonnaise. Hmm. Oh, sick! You found a key with a tag. Will you keep it? Yes, I will. What a fucking beautiful little illustration of a bunch of shitty things in a desk. Rain fiercely patters against the window as if it never intended to stop falling. Dishes with stale leftovers. The oil cloth is covered with greasy drops of chicken soup. Long scratches on the floor. So now... meat cleaver stuck in the table and dark red stains of blood dripping from the tablecloth. Well, that's no good. Oh, beautiful. Oh, that's so satisfying. Man, look at this room. This is gorgeous. Jesus, what a beautiful looking game. You found the fuse. Yes, I will keep it. Oh, it's all coming. It's all coming together, chat. Um, I gotta say, I am extremely feeling this game oh, also. Man. Door is locked. Officially defused the situation. Excellent. Excellent wordplay. So now, um, I guess we need to put the fuses in the main hall and then also the upstairs rooms. Fuse is now inserted. So we want it to be in the main hall and then I guess we'll go for the nearest upstairs room first. Because I think we'll have to like solve the puzzle to clear out that hallway first. So 
now we should be able to move this and get in here. Kushva. Work, there's no power, but that shouldn't be a problem next time. Shower, drop this water, trickle down. Small faucet mounted on the wall is still functional. What will you do? Fill the watering can. Water from the faucet slowly fills the metal container. A relatively clean, strong basin. The small faucet is still functional. A pile of shattered light bulbs, crushed electrical fuses, seemingly pounded with a blunt tool. The floor tiles in the vicinity are cracked, indicating that an extraordinary strength was used. Oh, she's, she's calling again. I physically cannot comprehend. Get your brain moving. You're sure of being in every room I took all there was to take. Don't you have a map to make sure you've searched everywhere? I physically not comprehend what could be taking so long. Man, she's she's mean, and I don't think I do have a map. <gasps> a map! Um items to collect. So there's something still to collect in the main hall. She's nice by Polish standards. <laughs> the door is locked. What will you do? Use the key and the tag. The key fits. So tired. Okay, I will need to bring the power in here. That is grandparents bedroom so we definitely have some stuff in the grandparents bedroom but I wonder how much of it we're going to be able to actually get without having power up here this is potentially perhaps. switch oh a second light bulb interesting Sir Ara Arara, thank you for the subscription, and that was some excellent timing. Really, really sold that second light bulb discovery. And flick the switch, and we're all good. But there's something else in this bedroom, and we should be able to get everything from here. We found an old ring. Will you keep it? You betcha! But there's still something else in here. The door is locked. I wonder is that other thing we can get the lamp, the light bulb, and I think it is. Okay, this little fucker's teleporting everywhere and I don't like it. Is this really your grandpa's ring? The sign's on it. Of course it is. But you can borrow it for a while. Just put it back when you took it from, okay? Why? You know my Gramps has a rifle? I once saw him play with it in the office when I didn't go to school. I only looked through the keyhole so I didn't see it at all. I tore a notebook labeled Kaisa's Diary. The writing in every single page is covered by chaos scribbles. Um, looks like a cutout photo of Gregor's Shivwaski. Uh, it was taped over the cover. Children's bunk bed. Sheets on the top bed are kept tidy while the bottom one is in disarray. A bizarre pile of furniture. Hard to imagine what the purpose it could serve. Scrap 
which is Oh, dude, come on. The, the lamp's right there, buddy. Okay, cool. Yeah, it was that sp it was that thing we spotted earlier. So we just need to get another bulb and have that work. Where was that other bulb? Here, I do believe. Oh shit, so we gotta get power to this part. Okay, we can do that. Um, hey, since this is a horror theme stream, I had a question for you guys concerning a movie. Did any of you guys watch Annihilation? Would you recommend it? Uh, yeah, I watched Annihilation. It was not my favorite movie, but it's a super interesting movie. So yeah, I would recommend it. Um, it's like I, I it's a movie that like I didn't really enjoy when I was watching it and then the further I got away from it the more I kind of appreciated it in hindsight so yeah good movie would recommend um, I think I would probably enjoy a second screening of Annihilation a lot more than I enjoyed the first perhaps there's no power but then what are we doing Wait, oh. child diagnosis. Marichi Jowanski displays intelligence, openness, eagerness to learn, and is interested in physical process, especially electricity. He also tends to collect and play with objects related to electricity, such as batteries or light bulbs. Problems regarding the difficulty in understanding spelling rules and remembering facts outside of his interest are within the norm for a child his age. Who? It is advised to be aware that his curiosity could create a situation that could put his health or life in danger if unattended for long periods of time. So, no. Uh. You. For Christ's sake, to mom, you scared me. I heard some noises, but I didn't know it was you. Thought it could be a stranger or something, so I shut the door. In this day and age, there's all sorts of dangerous people everywhere. How the hell did you get in here? Oh, you know, I'm a neighbor. What if something bad was happening while they're gone? Now look, Thomas. The longer I look at these drapes, the prettier they seem. Everyone's going to be jealous of my dress. Now don't mind me. I don't have much time. Got to start sewing. Uh, I, mm, I don't know about her. A bronze woman holding two jars. The nameplate says... Well, the... Wogenlind guarding the Rheingold. The jar in her left hand is sealed. There is a small piece of paper in the other one. O Rhind Maiden Wogenlind, who carrieth, carrieth a jar full of sacred water, I offer thou a betrothal ring as a sign that I renounce love for time eternal. Grant me a holy warrior access to Renegos where my slay foes aplenty. Okay, I think I get what they want. 
put the ring on the finger and pour the water in the jug. The statue starts to tremble and the old mechanism sets in motion. A bronze safe is mounted on the wall. Oh, now we're talking. Drawers containing tablecloth, spreadsheets, blah, 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 blah. You sure you're not gonna like try and murder me? Of course it would be easier if that old hag Jelinski didn't put a padlock on the basement. I could borrow her sewing machine and not waste any more time. One thing at a time, Swinski. Measure your ass first. You hadn't tailored dresses prom ages ago. Yeah, I don't I, I don't know about her. The door is now unlocked. Nice. Now we have our mean friend. You're wasting time. Get out of there if you still haven't done anything. I just found a rifle. It was hidden in some Nazi statue. You didn't come here for a fucking rifle! Sure, you let me put in the back where I came from. Don't be childish. You got a new toy. Hooray. Yeah, find the money. What did she say? This is taking me long. Talk to me. God damn it, I could use some actual help for once. Oh, honey, you really make me feel needed. Sometimes in life we feel like we don't have enough of what we need. And what do we do then? We make do what we have. I'm running out of rooms for life lessons today. I just got one from Beta. And you talked with... She's in the house? Where was she? In the office, I climbed down the folded stairs. Folded stairs? From the room above, she locked the door, and that was the only way in. What the hell was the folded stairs, one room, and an actual staircase in the hall? It's an old house, maybe the folded staircase led to an attic, but they added one floor. What are you, an architect now? Perhaps the little boy has something to say. Oops. Did you see the key that got stuck in the padlock? I remember that when pig police officers see a padlock, they just shoot it. I saw that on TV with Daddy, and then they kick down the doors and kill gangsters. Okay, so we get to shoot something and kick a door in. First floor. Kids' bedroom. Kids' bedroom. Grandpa's bedroom. Flip the. There's a padlock on the phone room. Oh, you're totally right. Shoot the padlock. Thank you for that. Oh, it's a cool basement. An old projector used to display images on slides. Proudly presented by Sanka. Oh, this is like a credits. Okay, I was like, wow, these these clues are in depth. A horde of dated houseware, too worn to be used, too good to throw out. A shelf groaning under the weight of mason jars with comp com um, compote and pickled vegetables. Wardrobe loaded with summer clothes, brought a couple of months ago. Sides. But what's down here?
sofa. There's a little area there behind the sofa, but something ain't right. So then that disappears. So what can we do in there? I have no fucking idea, chat. Wait, what happens if we turn the light off in here and then go down? Same thing. Okay, what if we take... Oh, she's gonna be mad! Now there is no electricity for nothing. But it doesn't really make much of a difference. Okay, let's go answer the angry woman. You know there's a folded stairs, you didn't think there was any of any use to you. Well, I didn't. Of course you didn't. There's two way. That's what happened to you. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's like go by the staircase is clogged by ooze. It it stroke. God, she is really being mean and it is hitting hard. In the hall. Oh, okay. So now... Can we put that in there? Take the bulb. Yes. Okay, because now we can just turn ev all the lights on up here. Wait, what? There's a disfigured small corpse in the wardrobe. It's chopped beyond recognition. Uh, what? Uh, I see you have made your way upstairs. Goodness gracious, what a mess. How am I supposed to find something here? Looked all around Zilch. Doesn't Juwanski have tailoring tools? Maybe the kids have some crayons and rulers, so I'll imagine. I'll dig them up first. Yeah, I, I don't know about you. Is that the case? It's the last. Ah. Wait, now we can get over to that window, but is that gonna do anything? Oh, it's locked in, I think so. Um Can we? No. Hmm. Januska. If you're looking for the right pronunciation of Joho. Januska. Okay. Is there any room that we might have left? Did you kill her? The white dress lady. Is it safe? So we need one more light bulb for this woman. I don't know. Hmm. So I think I should have three light bulbs, which means I am after losing a light bulb somewhere. Right. Hmm, I don't know if that's right even either though. Fuck. Oh. 
Yes! So now, now. Uh, please don't stand close to me, weird woman. Wait. This was over here. Slide. Okay, now. Don't clean it up yourself. Kids made the mess. They have to tidy it up. At least now I should find some pencils and rulers to take measurements. I've seen the. Yuanska? Is that it? Um, it's all coming together. Okay, I am going down to the basement to check out. The bottom of the staircase is blocked by ooze, there's no way going down. Cool. Oh shit, I have to. Oh! Fucking light bulbs! So now we go down this way. Through here. Any progress? I got the blueprints, but they're on a slide. I have to display it. There has to be a projector in, in school, but school's full of. I don't have to go there. Why would they have a slide and no way of displaying it? It's a big house, there's lots of junk. I'll find it. Fine. I have already found it! You want ski demo ends here, but the story will continue. However, don't focus too much on what you've seen here. There probably was no slide. There was no white dress lady. Were the rooms always, were the rooms always so empty? Thank you. Okay, that seemed cool. There's another part of this demo we can do called the tunnel, museum of the combat mechanics showcase roguelike mode. Okay. I'm fucking hungry, and I want to eat some dinner, but let's look at this real quick. Salutations. Oh, he moves a bit differently in this demo. Oh, he follows his... Interesting. Ah, yes, very good. Rotate the camera. Takie zamknięte drzwi mogą stanowić zagłoskę. Unless you've got a key, of course. You found a rusty key. Kind of like Zelda keys, I guess. And a flashlight, take. Um, the kind of hide when an electric light shines in them. To conserve batteries, switch the flashlight off by hitting five. 
can see and will react to the light beam. Zero mm, percent charge. Common light in the den of thieves underground and all above the daredevil. <laughs> Hard sinks. Okay, so now I'm guessing. Um. Combine these, and now we have 50%, and now we can turn it on. Oh, I wish I had that fucking, like, like an hour ago. Oh, nothing to be scared of. On behalf of the entire board, I have the pleasure of welcoming you to another section of the exhibition. Let me remind you here that on premises, Rose Rock Facial Health Center must be met. I suggest you move stealthily because in the eventual catastrophe, well, you know, or catastrophe. You know, enough bad luck, you might get hit with a brick or a wooden church. And here, if you let anyone see, you're going to end up dead as a doorknob. Yet, to demonstrate purposes, you know, uh... Oh god. Oh shit, it takes time to Okay. Easy. Easy does it. Okay, now we get up past them. We go up here. Oh god. This motherfucker, how do we lose him? Easy. Nice. Oh. Okay, so there's going to be stealth in this game. Uh, what are you going to do when it gets bright everywhere? There'll be something about dodging and kicking on the plaques. You're free to have fun. Ever been in the army? You certainly know what it means. I must be joking. People say nowadays when you get socks with a job, the giggles are over. There's space to dodge. You died. God damn it! This is still just a demo, right? Yeah, this is all a demo. Okay. Um, because of my years of fighting games, I am basically invincible to melee. So, uh, these, these creatures cannot touch me. I am too strong. I am too fast. I am too invincible. Uh, nothing works on the final gamer. You guys, you guys want it? You guys fucking want high level gameplay? What the fuck was that? That I just destroyed! I destroyed this beginning of game tutorial! Okay? Press to kick. Oh, what is that? Oh, cool. What?
Uh. Okay, can we kick can we kick the zombies? Uh yeah we can. Oh god, oh god. That doesn't count, that doesn't count. That was fucked up, okay? Okay, okay. Going good. Going not okay, I'm stuck. Kick those boxes, kick them! Oh. Oh, come on. Oh, that's a lot of zombies. That's a lot of zombanos. Hell yeah, okay. Proszę, proszę. Oh well. Musimy porozmawiać o energii. Naprzód. Harsh lessons. No dobrze. Teraz możemy rozmawiać. Tu widzisz pan. Na dole jakie pasy. No tu, na dole. On pokazuje mi. What are you talking about? Is it really not there? Hmm. What a shame. When you stop talking about it, it appears again. And when you kick something, it means that you get tired easy and need some rest. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, widziałeś pan pasa. Spróbuj pan coś kopnąć. Now I'm sleepy. Okay, that was what was happening before. Ah! Czy ten biały pasek jest? Panie, wiadomo, że nie w muzeum. Siedź pan ci. Prawda, Enel. Jak pana ktoś walnie, to... Krótszy? Nie! Krótszy się. Jak to pana? Uwaga! Pokazuj... Oj, 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 oj. Cholera, co pan robi? Teraz zapraszam do właściwej sekcji wystawy, w której nauczysz się. Proszę się nie przejmować. Do wystawy. Um, uh, I don't know about this. He's running. Okay, do I need no, to heal? Take, and I'm guessing I take those to heal. And now I can just get past it fine. That should hopefully do it. I, wouldn't, I, th I think there's shooting in this game as well. Too many zombos. Too many zombos. Go, 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 go. Oh, fuck. Leave me alone. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Yeah, I know this ain't happening. Oh, come on. Please, please. No, fuck. Noż do jasnej kurwy nędzy. Okay, here we go again. Uh, we don't want to use the dodge unless we really need to use the dodge. And we're home free. No proszę. Nie podoba mi się. A następna sek... Divine support. Nie może mnie pan po prostu wypuścić z tego. Na koniec zwiedzania dla pana. To... Czyli mo... Oczywiście, że nie. To jest muzeum. Taka jest kolej rzeczy. Mo... Nie na tym polega. Jak pan chcesz dyskutować? Jako przewodniczący Komitetu Stroju. Do kontynuacji zwiedzania potrzebnej no, zakończenia magodzenia more... i obrazek. Obrazek z papieżem. Aha, aha. Czyli da. Obrazek z papieżem. Obrazek symbolicznie Symbolic wystarczy. 
Okay. Oh, cool. Okay. I have to enter aiming mode in safe areas, and I'm guessing this is a safe area. What? Oh my fucking god, that looks so cool. Are you serious? Chat, are you seeing how fucking good this looks? And I'm dead and that's fine. Twisted Crunked, thank you for that. Oh. Oh, that looks so rad. Okay, these things, they don't die when you shoot them in the head. What about the leg? Oh my god. And they're still going. Maybe it has to be the infected limb. You have to shoot the infected limb off. That is so rad. Oh my god, this game is so fucking cool. Haha, I did it! Oh, I am bl chat, blown the fuck away. That uh, incredible. I want more bullets so I can shoot them more. size increase. Well, that's well timed. I would like some bullets, please. A lot of nails. Shoot the head so the enemy cannot track you. Shoot the arm so the enemy cannot attack you. Shoot the legs so the enemy cannot chase you. Distorted body parts are harder to dismember. Okay, so I was completely wrong. An unnecessary action may draw unwanted attention. Make sure to heal and reload your weapons before stepping within earshot of the enemy. Uh, I, I don't have any bullets left. I don't think there's anything left for me to do here. So let's just try and get back. Ah, God damn it. Oh, not good, not good, not good. I'm back. Oh, you son of a bitch. Really? Okay, guys, I think that's where I'm going to have to leave it today just because it's getting late and I need to eat some dinner. Uh, this game seems fucking great. I cannot wait to see the same, like, to see the finished version. I would like to get more live action stuff in or more action stuff in, but we might actually play a little more maybe Saturday or maybe Friday, but I also kind of want to play... We have a bunch of stuff to play. But anyway, guys, look, I'm going to head. Um, I will see you guys Friday. Love you all. Have a great week, okay? Bye-bye.